let's look at a common question that we can ask in a, a deformable mechanics problem and we'll again focus on the axial deformation of bars where we have four basic equations. We have our kinematic equation which was that the strain is equal to du dx. We have our equilibrium equation which says dr dx plus any distributed body forces must be equal to zero. We have the stress resultant relationship which for example says the stress is equal to the resultant internal resultant divided by the area and we have the stress strain law or the constitutive relationship that says the strain is equal to the stress divided by the Young's modulus. So we'll work with the linear elastic case. Now let's, let's look at a, a common question. A common question would be to say have a mechanical system that's under subjected to axial loads and ask the question of well how much does its length change when we apply these loads. So this, this is a kinematic question and so let's first start by looking at the kinematic equation. If I look at the kinematic equation it says the strain is equal to the derivative of the displacement. Well I, if I integrate the, the rate of change of the displacement from 0 to L by the fundamental theorem of calculus I find that that's equal to u of L minus u of x which is the change in length which I'll call delta in this case. So the change in length of the bar is equal to the integral of the strain over the entire domain of the bar. So th this gives us a, a lead into this but what's applied to the bar are loads and so we somehow have to connect the strains to the loads but we have a whole bunch of other relationships. In particular if I look at the constitutive law it tells me the strain is the stress divided by the Young's module so I could convert my expression for the change of length into one that involves an integral of the stress divided by the modulus. And the stress divided by the modulus is related to the internal force divided by the area. So one way of writing down an expression for the change of length of the bar is to say that it's the integral from one end of the bar to the other of the internal force divided by the area divided by the Young's modulus. So that gives us a, a working relationship for the system. Uh, and then we could use equilibrium, which is our remaining equation. You'll notice that I've used three equations embedded into this equation here. So inside this equation here is the kinematic law, the relationship between the stress and the resultant, and the constitutive law. And the only equation that's missing there is the equilibrium equation. So I can use equilibrium to find out what r of x is, and then I could solve for the change of length of the bar.